So I got tired of looking at the laundry on my floor, and I decided to save a little time and build a giant claw machine to pick it up. So I can't really plan a project, but in hindsight, I can tell you what the plan was. I had to design something that could reach the whole room. I had to keep it cheap. I had to make it light and strong and simple. So I'm going with a cable-driven parallel robot with a two-fingered gripper on the end. I chose to make the gripper hang from a fifth vertical line so I can keep the lateral wires out of the way most of the time. And this is working out so far. Most of the robots I've seen in other companies are two-fingered with a wrist-mounted camera and I'm going with the same approach because it's simple and maybe their models will generalize to my hardware. So I designed the whole thing in on shape and I owe a huge thanks to the RC test flight and teaching tech YouTube channels for teaching me how to use on shape. It's been a really useful tool. After dozens of iterations of the hardware, making it quieter, stronger, easier to print and assemble, nicer looking, I finally had something I could test with and live with while I worked on the software that would read the sensors and send the commands. Evidently, the next four months of the plan were to get the thing calibrated. Moving a four-wire cable-driven parallel robot around without slackening any line requires perfect knowledge of the positions of all the components at all times, and I want users to be able to just screw this on the wall without measuring anything. Initially, I thought it would be as simple as using a judicial tag recognition library to tell me the relative poses of the anchors in Gantry, and that's why every anchor has a camera in it. And the tag library that I initially used is called Aruko Markers. It's built into OpenCV. And it does work, but it's so bad that I had 20 to 40 centimeters of error in the distance estimates. And this was with the image resolution set as high as I could go with the Raspberry Pi camera module 3. During the calibration tribulation, I heard about Hang Printer, which is a brilliant project that is using a similar room scale cable driven robot as a large 3D printer. And it's using a lot of the same technologies and the movement in his demos is so accurate and solid that I was drooling at it. And I read the calibration code and I talked to the founder and I felt like I understood exactly what he was doing, minimizing the error between line-based position estimates and judicial estimates for a variety of points around the room. And I thought this would be the magic bullet to my problems. But even after implementing it, my calibration still pretty much sucked. I was pretty close to deciding that Stringman users would have to use a measuring tape during the installation, but eventually I stumbled upon the April tag library. To be honest, I just kept asking AIs for solutions, and sooner or later it recommended this, and I was, I'd never heard of it before, but it's, it's really good. So the April tag library is just like a Ruko, but better at everything. They're rock solid, the accuracy is like one centimeter, even in distance. I could lower the camera resolution to 1920 by 1080, which the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W can stream and encode in hardware, which is a huge benefit. So dozens of workarounds and hacks that I had put in place for the high resolution were just gone. Latency was way down to tenths of a second, and the calibration finally worked really good. So it's reliable now. I can even hand the controller to my kids and let them drive it around, and they seem to really like it. So. Now that a kid can drive it, the next step is to teach an AI to drive it. And for that, we just need some data. LayRobot is a fascinating project that makes it possible for someone with little or no AI experience to train a cheap printed robot arm to pick stuff up. The training data consists of teleoperation episodes, and the types of networks you can train include diffusion models and action chunking transformers, which are called ACT models. And it looks pretty simple. You often see people using a robot arm that's been trained with 50 episodes to pick up a little toy and put it in a bin, and that's not too far off from what I'm doing. In theory, I just have to record my robot's actions and cameras while I use it to pick up clutter on the floor, so I set to work integrating Stringman's control software with LayRobot. I implemented a few different teleoperation methods, but to make a long story short, they all were pretty bad except for the gamepad. This has great latency, and it was generally pretty easy to use. So after making some optimizations to lay robot, I can record episodes as fast as I can operate the robot. In the last practice session, I could pick up and put away about one item every 20 seconds. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to need, but with this setup, I should be able to collect a lot of them quickly. This entire phase of the project 
so far, has only taken about a week, so a lot easier than calibration. Now, there's nothing standing in the way of training a diffusion or act model, so I hope to have some updates on that very soon. Technically, there's nothing standing in the way of me selling these either, so if you're into robots or 3D printers and want to give this a try, please check the links in the description. There's also a very detailed build and installation guide with STLs and a bomb if you'd like to print and build your own. BOM, bomb, YouTube. It's still a prototype. It's a little underpowered for real cleaning work, but even without an AI, it's already useful for anyone with mobility limitations because you can lie in bed with a controller and bring yourself stuff. And if you're not looking for a pre-alpha product, come back for the next version. Hopefully I'll have something more like a reliable room cleaning appliance. So I can confidently say now that we have reliable smooth motion and our first recorded training data. So this point really marks a major milestone in the development of Stringman, but don't ask me to estimate when it's going to be finished. Socks. Robots want to pick up socks, and there's a sock over there, so the robot's going to pick it up. Give me that sock! Give me that sock! I want that sock! No, no, don't get it! Don't get it! Give me a sock! I can go get it over there. <laughs> you little go robot. Yes, I should try. Oh, thank you, Nick. See, oh, I, what Nick, do I need a robot for if the kids bring me stuff? Nick, you ruined the video. Help is helping. You're being me. Start it over, Nate. Nick ruined it. I don't think he ruined it. <laughs> 